So uh, we retrieved our kit and we got out and it chased us all the way through, right here to the edge of the, the, edge of the channel, right back into the shallows. And came and repaired the nets and left it for maybe about 45 minutes or so. Couldn't see any sign of it. Went back in. Man, we dropped the third net and out from underneath the boat it came. And this time it was seriously aggressive. We grabbed the net as we dropped it. We pulled it back and it then came for us. And literally that again. Ram it off with the paddle. And we gave up. That was the last day's fishing. I stopped fishing then. But there was something wrong. Yeah. Yeah, so we're not really sure where the infection started. What we do know is that around two and a half years ago, uh, we picked up this increased aggression in seals around people particularly. We had a number of uh, unprovoked seal attacks on people, and that increased dramatically. Um, and we've been monitoring that closely, and we were trying to uncover what was the cause of that. We really didn't think much about rabies because there's been no global incidence of rabies in marine mammals before. Uh, so that kind of ruled it out. And then in May this year, we tested four seals uh, for rabies because of particular circumstances. And of those four, three came back as positive for rabies. Um, looking backwards at the first positive test that we have for rabies in Cape Town goes all the way back to August 2022. So rabies in Cape Fur Seals has been around a couple of years already. Where it started we don't know uh, to be certain but uh, how it's going to roll out and play out in the population we're also not sure.